Hi guys, welcome to another Planet Zoo video. In this one, I'm going to go over some mistakes that I made. Some of them I made for a, a very long time, an embarrassingly long time. But the whole point of this is so that you guys don't repeat my mistakes. Let's jump right in with the first one. The first one, the first thing that I didn't do that I should have been doing was I did not look at all of my info. Look at all this stuff, guys. These screens are so powerful, okay? If you have not been exploring all of these tabs, make sure you go in here and check out all this stuff that you have at your disposal. There's so much of this that is incredibly useful to running your zoo. So many things that you might be having problems with are going to be made easier using the resources that you find in all of this. I'll give you one concrete example that I was not doing for a very long time. You know how people destroy things in, in the zoo? You know, people they turn over your trash cans and they break your benches and stuff. Well, if you go up here to crime, replace all. For the longest time, I was going individual by individual item and fixing it on the map. You know, I would I would look around and, and try to find the things that were broken, right? I'd scan around for everything that they that they'd broken and I click on them individually and I'd repair them. You don't have to do that. Prime, replace all. And there's tons more stuff in here. So definitely be sure to explore all of your info screens. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're in franchise for this one because the next thing that I always forgot to do and still forget to do sometimes, the next mistake that I make is I forget to check all of the info in the animal market. This is specific to franchise guys, okay? Because what some people will do, and I know you've all seen this, I know that you've encountered this as well, anyone who plays franchise, what people will do is they will put up animals, I wonder if we could find one. They'll put up animals that are really old. You may not see one here. It doesn't happen too often. But sometimes, sometimes people will try to pull one over on you. And they'll put up a really old animal for a regular price, right? And then you buy the animal and then you've got an elderly animal who you know, maybe doesn't actually have hardly any breeding years left in them, right? But that's, but, you know, that's why we have to check, okay? So there's, you want to check that, and there's another thing to check as well. And this is not any, this next one is not anyone's fault, not something anybody is doing wrong. Something else to look at, besides the age, is if you need a breeding pair, okay? Remember to check to make sure you're not buying two animals from the same breeder, okay? From the same franchise, right? If it's a frontier animal, this is a, if it's a frontier animal, see the frontier zoo, then that's fine. They won't be related. But something I would always do is I would buy like a male and a female but they would be from the same zoo. And if they're from the same zoo, then they're probably brother and sister, or at least related. So to avoid the incest penalties, make sure that if you're buying a breeding pair, try to get them from different franchises or buy the, a frontier animal, right? So, and again, I still do this. I still forget to look, So make, Make this your reminder. This is your reminder to always check the stats, always check these, always check the age, 
And then if you need a breeding pair, remember to always check that you are buying from different zoos. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next thing I would like to bring up as a mistake that I made early on is I avoided the terrain stamp tool. I avoided it a lot. I was kind of intimidated by it. I don't know if it's just me, but this seemed kind of like an advanced tool to me. But I promise it's really easy to use. And it's also really, really powerful. And I would encourage anyone who has not been availing themselves of the terrain stamp tool to get in here, dig into this tool, see what it can do for you. It's pretty amazing. The terrain stamp tool gives you really nice precision control over your terrain. You can do so much with this and it makes things so much easier when you need to build something that really relies on these uh, precise ge geometric shapes. You know what I mean? I was intimidated by it, so I didn't use it for a really long time, and then when I finally taught myself how to use it, I realized it's actually not that big of a deal. It looked a little weird to me at first, but now I've got a, a good handle on it. And so I hope you guys are also using this. And if you're like me, and you are kind of intimidated by it, just jump in and just play around with it and see how cool it is. It moves along the axes. You can do it just like with uh, with your building items, just like that. And you can also rotate it on the angle snap for even more precise control. Definitely experiment with the terrain stamp tool if you haven't been using it. Highly recommend uh, getting comfortable with using this tool. Now the next mistake I made is one that I do still occasionally uh, fall victim to, but not as much. I'm much better about this now. I used to forget all the time to build on the main grid. Okay, now if you don't know what this means, let me show you. Your zoo has like a main grid. It's the grid that this entrance is on, basically, okay? It has like a standard grid that lines up with this right here. Now, if you start to make something, go grab some building pieces. If you're trying to make something over here, right? And you you don't want it facing, let's, let's Build it out real quick. You don't actually want it ultimately to face this way. Let's say you want to make something that's facing this way, right? So what I would do, and what I do not recommend, is I would build... I would build it facing the correct way first. I would do something like this. And that is going to create some problems that you will run into later. It's going to create problems when you need to start lining things up with this building. Things that are not on a grid, especially. It's going to create problems with the center of rotation for things. So I definitely definitely recommend if you are building anything anything at all build it on the main grid everything starts out on the main grid see you don't if you don't rotate it if you don't do anything with it, if you don't make it face any other direction it will just be on the main grid like this build like this okay build it first Build the whole thing, add your decorations, put everything on it, do whatever you need to do with it, and then, when you're done, then rotate it and move it to its proper place. Thankfully, I've mostly learned my lesson with this, and it is, it is a difficult, 
it's it's a hard lesson to learn because if you have ever spent time um, building something really complicated off the grid, you will know the headache that comes when you do that. So build on your main grid, guys. Build on that main grid. Next up is something that I only recently noticed. And it's a very quick one, very easy one. But it is also a little embarrassing because I uh, did not notice this for the longest time. Blueprints off. Blueprints off. I would spend so much time scrolling past all my workshop stuff. All this stuff that I have downloaded from the workshop, cluttering up everything, and then I realized blueprints off. Now you only see your construction pieces, no blueprints. And then, of course, if you need to see them, you can turn blueprints only, you can look at everything. But Blueprints Off has made my life so much easier. I realize, I realize that I'm sure so many people out there, I'm sure most of you already knew about this and noticed it because it's right there. How did I miss it? And you guys probably think I'm pretty silly for not noticing it for so long, but there it is. I'm not very observant. I didn't notice it. If anybody else out there, high five for all the non-observant people. Here, you're welcome. Blueprints off. Now I have one final mistake to share with you all. And this mistake is one that I learned pretty quickly and I, I went through and I, I fixed this one for me because I went through and just learned everything I possibly could. But this mistake is something that I see constantly. I see it in the discords. I see it in all the discords. I see it in YouTube comments. I see it on the official forums. People not knowing what all the settings do. People not looking through all of their settings. This is something I did too. I absolutely did this. Then when I realized, I realized that I was doing it. And I also realized that a lot of the problems I was having could be solved simply from looking at the settings. So check this out. There is a lot of power in what you can do with all of this stuff, even in franchise. Not only in Sandbox, which we're in right now, but even in Franchise. There are a lot of settings to make your life easier when building. There are, are settings to control almost everything in Sandbox. There are settings down here to help control so much of what happens with the pathing. There's settings in the terrain that will make a huge difference. You know what, I can give you guys a concrete example right now. Let's zoom on over to uh, the ground here. I'm gonna show you guys something that I mean. This is something that I helped somebody out, else out with on, uh, on Twitch. They were really struggling. They were hating this so much. So let me get something here that's easy to see. Let's put some rock down. Okay. And let me go switch my settings back to how, how this person had it. Okay, here we go. This, this right here. This is something that uh, this, this person that I helped out on Twitch, they didn't, they didn't know about it. Okay. This is under your sculpting, okay? And paint. And this is gonna control what happens to the terrain paint as you sculpt, right? Now, let's see, uh, I believe he had it on. Yeah, yeah, the, there it is, there it is. See, it, it turns, it turns it to 
the long grass on auto paint. See? And it was driving this person nuts. Because he would keep having to get rid of the long grass every time he did anything with his terrain. But if you go selected, use selected means it's going to use whatever you're on, right? So now if we go and sculpt, it's going to turn it to soil. Just like that. See? And then finally, sampled. Sampled is going to retain, it's going to attempt to retain whatever is underneath here. So you see it's going to stay as rock. Right? And that is just one of the many, many, many examples that I could bring up about how the settings and knowing what all these settings do and experimenting with all these settings make a massive difference in this game. There are a lot of headaches that people have with the building and such um, that actually don't, they don't need to have those headaches. It's all in the settings. All you have to do is take a look at what's going on with all of these, everything in terrain, and everything in the game settings. Go through these for sure, uh, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with all of this stuff and everything that it can do for you, make sure you look through them. My life in Planet Zoo got so much easier after I realized that all this stuff was here and everything that it could accomplish. I absolutely recommend that you do not make my mistake and you go through and you look at all this stuff, familiarize yourself with it, learn what all of it does, and things will go a lot, a lot more smoothly. And there you go, there's my list of mistakes that I made that I learned, for the most part, not to make anymore. I hope you guys go forth and uh, do not follow in my footsteps and avoid these mistakes. And you know what? This game is so complex and there's so much to learn. I'm still making mistakes and I'm still learning. So, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll be back later with even more mistakes that I can uh, teach you guys not to do. Okay, I will see you guys uh, in the next one. Say bye-bye, say bye-bye to our Komodo dragon. Bye, guys!